Hello everyone, uh, we are going to perform the first experiment and the object of the experiment is to trace the wave shapes of the outputs using a load of about 470 ohm for half wave, full wave and bridge rectifier with and without capacitor. So basically we are going to perform a rectifier experiment with and without capacitor and uh, you all know that the work of the rectifier is to uh, transform the AC input signal to the DC output signal. So the apparatus which we need to perform this experiment is an, a step down transformer, semiconductor diode basically the PN junction diode and a CRO which is uh, a cathode ray oscilloscope. So now you can see uh, the first apparatus is a step down transformer which is going to have three terminal for second and third we can use any terminal in between and then uh, the second one is the combination of uh, PN junction diode we can see the, this we are going to use for the half wave rectifier this circuit is for full wave rectification and this circuit is for the bridge rectification okay so uh, the first the thing you must notice is let me first explain you that how we uh, connect the PN junction diode in a circuit so you can see that uh, this is uh, the notation uh, notation of PN junction diode this arrow correspond to the P type semiconductor and this line correspond to the N type semiconductor and basically this the whole black part is the P type semiconductor and this gray lining correspond to the N type semiconductor and you can see the connection the P type is towards the the whole black part and the gray part corresponding to N type semiconductor and th that is how we connect uh, this P type semiconductor into our circuit and this is the notation that the, the big arrow is the P type and this line is the N type semiconductor okay the so third uh, apparatus is uh, the cathode ray oscilloscope what we have here is the digi digital one oscilloscope and uh, these are the terminals this is one terminal this is another terminal in which we which we can put our input we can use our in as an input or we can use as an output and these are the knobs for th these input this the, uh, what about the working of these knobs we will see uh, just now uh, when, we, when we will use these uh, input uh, for our experiment now let's uh, perform the experiments so first of all uh, we have let's uh, use the transformer the transformer is the one as you can see the transformer is the one which which is going to give us the input signal so let us first try to see the input signal whether my transformer which I am using is giving a input signal AC input signal which is like this or not okay so what I'm going to use is my transformer and then uh, I have a resistance box uh, so as you know before using the resistance box we must tighten all the keys so that no uh, resistance is already introduced and when we use the resistance on the circuit we must uh, pull out some some resistance from the resistance box so that the, there is no short circuit in the uh, resistance box so now the two terminal of the resistance box I am going to use is the first uh, terminal I am going to use in uh, the first terminal of the transformer and the second terminal of the transformer is going to the the two terminals of the output of uh, this load resistance okay what what i am trying to see is the signal of this uh, trans step down transformer and how we can see the signal is going through this load resistance and we will see this signal across the two terminals of uh, the resistance box and to see this we will use uh, one of the input of the cathode ray oscilloscope this is this is uh, how it looks like uh, so this is what uh, is the connector and I am going to use this connector here and uh, these are you can see these are the inputs this is one terminal of this input and this is another terminal of this input so one terminal of this input I'm going to use here. Okay, you can see here, connect it. Uh, fine. And then another terminal I'm going to connect it here. Let me connect it. Okay, 
defined. So now uh, the two terminals of the transformer I have connected to the resistance box and through the resistance box I have connected this to this uh, digital CRO. Now you can see the input signal. So it's the yellow one is the input signal which is AC input signal of which we are going to use in our circuit. So you can correspond that this transformer is going to give us this AC input signal which we are going to send through this PN junction diode. So now let's talk about knob. So because this yellow color, this yellow color I have used this input and this knob, you can see this knob, the scale of this knob is volt to millivolt. That means if I change this knob, it's going to change the amplitude, okay? It's going to change the amplitude of the signal, you can see, okay? It will change the amplitude of the signal, fine? And then there is another knob, uh, this, this, this knob will shift your signal up and down, okay. And this another knob uh, which is the scale of this knob is like time scale, second to nanosecond. So that means time is uh, related to the frequency. So if I change this knob, you are going to see the change in the frequency, okay. The frequency will change. You can see the frequency is changing, frequency is decreasing frequency is increasing okay so these are uh, and this is for the shifting this this terminal is also for shifting up and down uh, horizontal shifting okay you can see in the horizontal shifting of the wave and and this terminal is giving you the vertical shifting of the wave fine so this is my input uh, signal and now uh, I am going to send this input signal, this input signal into uh, the half wave rectifier circuit. So this is my half wave rectifier circuit in which only one PN junction diode I am going to use and this P type and the N type. Okay. So the circuit tells you that the two terminal of the uh, transformer, the one terminal is going to the P type and the another terminal is going to the load resistance and the another end type is also going to the load resistance and across this load resistance I am going to get the output of this circuit okay fine so now we will use another transformer this is my another transformer these two terminal of the transformer I am going to use okay and this is one uh, PN junction diode I am going to use and this is my load resistance which I am going to use another load resistance. So first connection is uh, the two terminal of uh, this transformer one will go to the P type of the semiconductor. So one one terminal you can see let me use this I am going to use this one terminal and this I am going to use into uh, P type of the semiconductor okay this is arrow P type of the semiconductor and the you can see the another terminal is going to the load resistance okay so another terminal I am going to use another I can either use this terminal or this terminal I mean this terminal this terminal I am going to use uh, to uh, from this terminal I am going to use this to the load resistance okay and the another terminal of the load resistance uh, let me connect it another terminal of the load resistance is going to the end type of the semiconductor so another terminal of the uh, load resistance going to the end type of the semiconductor. Now we'll, we'll, we'll get the output across the load resistance. So you see, you see this is my N type and this is my P type. P type is going to one of the terminal and the another terminal is going to the load resistance and from the load resistance I'm getting the N type of the semiconductor and across 
these two will get the output of the half wave rectifier. So again I am going to use the another terminal of the CRO which is I am going to use here, here okay and the output of this I am going to use across this okay let me connect it like this and the another And then what we have to do, we have to introduce a 470 ohm of resistance and tie to all these connections. Okay, this is fine. Let me check once again. Now you can see the output of the half wave rectifier. Okay, so how the output of the uh, half wave rectifier will be? You can see here. This is this is the input, and then when this input AC signal went through this uh, PN junction diode, uh, the negative negative part of the AC uh, signal cuts down, and we have only the positive part of the AC signal. So this here you can see. Uh, this yellow one is the AC input signal and the positive part of the AC input signal is not there and we are just having a positive part. If I suppose impose this output signal of the half wave rectifier, you can see the, the negative part is not there. The negative part of the signal is not there. So this is the working, how the half wave rectifier works. So the AC input signal and the output of uh, the half wave rectifier. Now we will use uh, this is the output without the capacitor and now we are going to use uh, the capacitor you can see the capacitor of uh, uh, value 0 0.01 microfarad and there is a two terminal of this capacitor. So what I have to do is uh, nothing more is this is my low resistance this one I have to put a capacitor across this load resistance okay and then take the output across the capacitor so uh, along the two terminals of the load resistance I just have to connect the capacitor okay so we have the two terminal of the capacitor one and this another one and these are the two terminals of the load resistance I just have to connect connect these two these two terminals to these two terminals okay let us connect it let me connect it first. Uh, the first terminal. Let me connect it. Okay, and uh, the second one is uh, okay. Now you can see. Now you can see uh, the output after the uh, filter is there. Some sort of fluctuation is there. How can see? So without the capacitor, if I uh, if I uh, detach the capacitor from the circuit, you can see the output of half wave rectifier. If I introduce the capacitor, you can see the output. It's like this. So uh, let me uh, a little bit explain you. Uh, so this is my output uh, of the half wave rectifier. When we use the capacitor. It further filters the pulsating DC and the output comes like this. Okay, the the nature is like this. So you can see this. Uh, the nature is exactly same. Okay, this is charging and this is charging, charging and this charging. So if I this is the output and this is the input. Uh, further, if I superimpose this like to the peak of this so you can see how it looks like you see it's charging discharging okay so this is uh, without with the filter uh, the half wave rectifier output with the filter and uh, this is without filter 
And what we have to do is uh, basically we have to trace this using the trace paper. We have a trace paper like this and put this trace paper here and trace through the pencil uh, the, the input signal and the output signal with and without the capacitor and uh, then it is done for the half wave rectifier. And the next part we will do the full wave and the bridge rectifier. Ab hum log, uh, experiment karenge uh, full wave rectifier ka. You can see the uh, circuit jo full wave rectifier ki hai, yaha pe hum log do PN junction diode use karne ja rahe hain aur ek step down transformer hai. Okay, so uh, you can see the box, uh, one PN junction diode and another PN junction diode and these are the two connections. Ye uh, P type hai aur ye N type hai, ye P type hai aur ye N type hai. And this is ये जो है आपका common connection है. So आप अगर similarities देखें ये transformer है. Transformer से दो PN junction diode है. Circuit में आप देख सकते हैं दो PN junction diode और एक common connection है जो दोनों N type जो PN junction के हैं वो दोनों common है और P type जो है वो transformer से यहाँ पे आएंगे. Okay? So चलिए कनेक्शंस करते हैं तो ट्रांसफार्मर के जो दो आउटपुट्स हैं टर्मिनल हैं और एक कॉमन बीच का टर्मिनल है ओके सो वी आप देख सकते हैं एक टर्मिनल दो टर्मिनल तीन टर्मिनल ये पहला दूसरा बीच का और ये तीसरा सो so, ये कनेक्शन में हम लोग यूज करेंगे पहला दूसरा और तीसरा सो so, पहले और लास्ट वाले से दोनों पी टाइप में कनेक्शंस गए हैं ओके सो so, हम लोग करते हैं ट्रांसफार्मर के पहले से हाँ आप चलिए पी टाइप में एक कनेक्शन चला गया और ट्रांसफार्मर का जो दूसरा हिस्सा है लास्ट वाला आप देख सकते हैं ट्रांसफार्मर का दूसरा जो है उससे भी ये वाला इससे भी पी टाइप में गया है तो ट्रांसफार्मर का जो दूसरा लास्ट वाला है इससे हम दूसरे पी एन जंक्शन डायोड के पी टाइप में हम लोग कनेक्शन देते हैं और जो आ, एन टाइप का कॉमन जो है एन टाइप का कॉमन है वो जाएगा आपके यू कैन सी द एन टाइप का कॉमन जो है कहाँ जा रहा है लोड रेजिस्टेंस पे जा रहा है सो एन टाइप का कॉमन जो है लोड रेजिस्टेंस से एक वायर लेते हैं हम ये दिस दिस वायर एंड उसको सेंड करेंगे हम लोग एन टाइप के कॉमन इस पर चला गया आपका ओके अब देखिए लोड रजिस्टेंस का जो दूसरा सिरा है वो कहाँ जा रहा है वो ट्रांसफार्मर के बीच वाले हिस्से पे जा रहा है तो ट्रांसफार्मर के बीच वाले हिस्से से जो बीच वाला हिस्सा है बीच वाला कनेक्शन से वहाँ से हम एक कनेक्शन करते हैं और इसको ले जाएंगे रियल स्टेट के जो हमारा लोड रेजिस्टेंस है उसके दूसरे सिरे पे। सो ये फुल कनेक्शन हो गया हमारा ओके ट्रांसफार्मर का एक सिरा जो है वो एक पी टाइप में चला गया दूसरा पी टाइप का जो सिरा है ट्रांसफार्मर के लास्ट वाले सिरे पे चला गया और जो कॉमन वाला है वो लोड रेजिस्टेंस के एक सिरे पे और जो लोड रेजिस्टेंस का दूसरा सिरा है वो कहाँ गया यू कैन सी इट्स गोइंग टू द कॉमन ऑफ इन टाइप सेमी कंडक्टर सो दिस इज फुल कनेक्शन नो वी हैव टू टेक द आउटपुट बिटवीन द लोड रेजिस्टेंस यहाँ हमको सी लगाना है दिस दिस पोजिशन वी हैव टू फुट द सी सो ये इनपुट वेव होगी हमारी और तो आउटपुट वेव विल बी लाइक दिस ओके सो नेगेटिव विल आल्सो गो टू द पॉजिटिव साइड सो नेगेटिव विल आल्सो गो टू द पॉजिटिव साइड सो अब हम लोग आउटपुट लेते हैं ये सी ऑलरेडी हमारा ये जो आप देख सकते हैं येलो कलर जो है ये हमारा इनपुट ए है ओके और ना आउटपुट के लिए लेट एस कनेक्ट आउटपुट अक्रॉस द लोड रजिस्टेंस सो एक आउटपुट हमने लोड रेजिस्टेंस के लोड रेजिस्टेंस के एक सिरे पे एक आउटपुट लगाया हमने ओके और दूसरा आउटपुट जो है लोड रेजिस्टेंस के दूसरे सिरे पे लगा देते हैं सो अब आप देख सकते हैं कि आउटपुट ऑफ द फुल वेव रेक्टिफायर यू कैन सी द नेगेटिव पार्ट आल्सो बिकम अ पॉजिटिव यू कैन सी हियर इफ आई सुपर इम्पोज दीज टू You can see clearly the negative, negative part also went to the positive. Okay, so this is full wave rectifier.
the AC input signal has changed to the pulsating DC. Now uh, we will use the capacitor. So, as we have done the last time, the capacitor half a rectifier. Mein. We will take a capacitor, the same capacitor, and the capacitor ko hume kahan lagana hai? Uh, resistance box ke across lagana hai. So, we will put across the resistance box this one, and then uh, let me connect it. And, uh, and then the second is to So now you can see the output. It's again uh, uh, the pulsating DC is changed to the filtered DC. Okay, so this is almost like a DC connections. So if I uh, uh, remove the capacitor, you can see. If I remove the capacitor, you can see uh, the full wave rectifier output. But when I introduce the capacitor. It's further uh, reduce the pulsating part of uh, the AC component, which is in there in the pulsating DC, and now you can get a uh, almost filtered uh, part of that pulsating DC. Ek bar aur dekhte. This is output of half wave rectifier, full wave rectifier, and then across the capacitor. So again, we have to trace all these, the input and the output of the full wave rectifier and across the capacitor. So this is all about uh, full wave rectifier. Now uh, let's do uh, the bridge rectifier part. Now we will perform the last part of uh, this experiment that is uh, the bridge rectifier. So in this uh, bridge rectifier circuit, we are going to use four PN junction diode, one, two, and three, and four. And one important thing is to notice here that this is P-type, N-type, P-type, N-type, P-type, N-type, and P-type, N-type. So uh, what is common here is the P-type of these two diode is common and N-type of these two diode is common. So the common P-type and the common N-type connection is going to the load resistance, okay? Common P-type, make it common and common end type semiconductor part is going to the load resistance and the common connection of p type and end type is going to the one terminal of the transformer and the other common part of the p type and end type semiconductor is going to the another part terminal of the transformer so name here a b and c and t and if you compare with the circuit is the same circuit is here we have four pn junction diode we have common p part which is known as d common n part which is c common part of n and p type it is b common of n and p type is a so this is one connection common n and p which is going to the transformer common n and p which will go to the transformer that is a and b and this is the same as a circuit common a and b which is common of pn type n type will go to the transformer and the common of p and uh, n type will go to the resistance box and here we'll get the cro output okay so the output is same as like uh, full wave rectifier like the ac input signal will become the pulsating dc and then we will use the filter through the capacitor so let us connect this so we know that uh, this common a and b will go to uh, the two terminal of the transformer so we will get the common a and we will connect it to one of the terminal of uh, the transformer and we will take uh, the b part of the circuit and this is also going to the another terminal of the transformer we can either use this terminal or this terminal doesn't matter we just have to use the two terminal then these c and d will go to uh, the load resistance okay so we take two uh, two connection from the load resistance one one will go to whatever wherever you like c and the another another uh, 
connection will go to the C part. Okay, so this is full connection. Now we have to take the output across the terminal. So let's connect it. The CRO we have already input signal as yellow color, and then we connect it to get the output. So let's connect it. This. So now you can see here the output but the polarity here is different okay so I have to change the polarity C and D because C and D polarity what I change the polarity I'll get the same the correct output so now you can see the output is correct fine now again if 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 I superimpose this output to my input you can see there the output is the negative the negative is also there is coming as a positive part okay so this is the output of uh, bridge rectifier okay and then now we will use the capacitor the same capacitor again I am going to use the two part terminal of the capacitor one will go to the one terminal of uh, The load resistance another will go to the another terminal of the road resistance and now you can see the output with filter so this is output without filter that is without the capacitor and this is the output with the capacitor that is with filter with and without filter so again in this case also we have to trace this input AC signal and output pulsating DC and then with the filter so uh, this is all about uh, rectifier experiment we have done half wave rectification full wave rectification and the bridge rectification